So for my next repair, um, we have uh, Pelican controls in this system. Um, we installed this Pearl, which is basically an economizer control. Uh, I'm not fully going to go over everything with it, but you have to hook up a supplier, temperature, return air, um, outside air. Uh, you tie all your thermostat wires in on this little wire module. This little module here actually gets pulled out of your indoor thermostat, uh, and then it goes in to this Pearl uh, board here. Uh, when you hook everything up, essentially it gives you power to monitor your economizer and make sure it's opening and closing and all that kind of stuff from a remote area. Um, you also have full ability to program and set temperatures from a remote area. Um, another cool thing about this particular one is you can add a VFD to a system to make everything a little bit more efficient. Um, so to meet with some of the codes, these things have just been nice on some of our retrofits we've done. Um, the one issue we've been running into with them is these little relay packs, the little contacts inside are welding closed. Um, and when that happens, say you have two that are welded closed, like a, an R and a W, so your heat and your cool setting, um, it just locks everything out. Um, so. It's a, it's a known issue with Pelican. They've kind of told us that it's common in the train. For some reason, only like the 10 to 15 year old train equipment. There's something with how the train equipment's made that makes them act up. Um, so if you're running into an issue where they're well enclosed, that might be something to look at. Um, but they do have a resolution. Um, these little relay packs, um, they have ones that are called Extended Life. Um, they're just built a little bit more beefier. The contacts and everything like that are a little bit better. Um, and honestly, at this point, they might even have a, a newer fix, but this is what we have been uh, told a couple years ago, and we've still been going with it. We've been putting these Extended Life relays in it, and uh, it's been taking care of the issue. Um, so most of them just kind of showing you what I was doing. Um, this particular one was locked out, uh, not letting it go into heating mode. Uh, we had some snow last night, so these people are cold. Um, I have, we actually stocked these on our trucks, so um, just gonna be throwing a new one of these in and uh, testing it, and it should be good. Um, in a different video, I'll go over probably an install of one of these just so people kind of understand what I'm talking about and how this control system works. Uh, you can do actually a lot of cool stuff with the zoning as well. Um, it's been a really good product. This is like the only little niche we've uh, found with it that uh, has been giving us issues. But uh, yeah, I'll go over another video on that. Um, and again, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. All right, thanks guys. So I just removed this from the panel. Um, if you are running into issues with one of these Pelicans, uh, leave a comment down below. I might be able to answer it. I've done quite a few of these, um, pretty much in all their different applications you can do. Um, but another thing to look for is that this R, C, and D, uh, make sure all these screws are tight. It's something easy to miss, but I've seen it overlooked multiple times. Uh, you get a lot of communication issues and stuff just won't be acting correctly. Um, and it goes without saying, if you're actually replacing this, um, make sure you take a picture of where your wires are just so you get everything right. As you can see, there's a lot of non-traditional colors being used here. Um, but yeah, just wanted to add that in.